Good evening and welcome to local film news and stuff. It's the Chloe Brown Show. <laughs> Sadly, Livy and Becca at home stick pretty bad with the logi, so I'm on my own this week. Get well soon, Livy. Oh, and Beck. The show must go on. The Australian Directors Guild and Screen Australia have recently announced a director's attachment for Mel Gibson's feature film Hacksaw Ridge. It's being filmed here in Australia in October. The director's attachment scheme is an incentive for emerging directors and will help them develop their craft. Our first interview for this week, Beck caught up with the crew from the Actors Hub. I'm here with Amanda Cruz from the Actors Hub. Hey Amanda, how are you? Yeah, good thanks. That's Very good. 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 So tell us about the Actors Hub. What is it and what does it do differently? So we help um, professionally minded artists uh, to maintain or to, to gain and maintain that competitive edge in the industry. How are we different? Um, we take a much more personal approach to our students mm -hmm. um, and, and we break the, um, the process down into achievable steps. So it's a one-on-one -on -one process for most of the students? All the classes are in, in groups but there are regular um, uh, breakthrough sessions and branding sessions that we have with our students mm -hmm. on, which are one-on-one -on -one and looking um, at, at how they um, work their own careers. We're very specific about breaking the um, profession down into two areas. So there's the um, craft and uh, and then the other side of it is how they um, conduct themselves as a business and how they run the business side. So so what would the first step be for a, an actor who, who wants more information? So they um, can jump onto our website mm -hmm. um, at uh, actorshub.net mm -hmm. or they can uh, call us or um, and, and arrange a uh, next level breakthrough session where we uh, talk to people uh, about what is the next step um, and they, we can uh, let them know about our programs. Cool, well thank you for your time today. Thank you, Great. thank you very much. Hey guys, I'm here with some of the actors from the Actors Hub Gap One. So tell me about Gap One, what, what, is, what are you guys working on at the moment? Um, right now we're working on Sassy Shakespeare, so it's where we've chosen a monologue from Shakespeare and we put a controversy and a twist onto it. Cool, so how's the journey been so far with the Gap? You, you learn so much um, about yourself I guess, um, it's, yeah, it's not just a journey of like um, of just learning a script and, and you know trying to play it out. You, you learn a lot about yourself and, and attaching yourself to the emotions from your past and then portraying that mm. in the scenes and stuff. It covers a wide range of things like cabarets, monologues, um, we've done like a contemporary dance performance as well. Oh, wow. So <laughs> it, it, it was such an amazing experience to actually do, do these sorts of things that you'd never thought you would actually do. How does this compare to other acting classes you've taken? Um, oh, I came straight out of high school into this and this is so different to high school drama. It's so much better. Yeah. That's great. Well, it sounds like you guys are in such a great group and the creative juices are allowed to flow. So you've got a really good foundation there. Thanks so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thanks. If you're into cross-dressing and Jane Austen films, David Stratton presents the Great Britain Retro Film Festival at the Windsor from August 6th to 19th. Tickets are available online. Let's go to the next interview. Hi, I'm Lauren Thomas. I'm here at Subiaco Arts Centre with children's entertainer and musician Peter Coombe. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Pleasure, Peter. Lauren. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. So how long have you been performing for? Uh, for children, I've been doing it professionally for this. This will be, I think, I think this is my 33rd year. Okay. So I, I, I left, left my teaching career in 1982, so I started doing it in 83. So this is my 33rd year, yeah. In retrospect, it was probably the best profession to do this from, to come from, because obviously I used to work with children, and, I, and, I, and I, I've always liked children. I yeah. love, love working with them. My last five years of teaching was all music teaching. So what do you love the most about your job now? The singing's great. I, I love touring. I love audiences. Um, I, I love me I like, like meeting the audience, um, parents and kids after the show. And now of course I loved also doing my evening shows as well, my 18 plus shows. Yeah, definitely it brings out the inner child. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what exactly that, that, that's what the evening shows are. It's about it's about people like re, reconnecting with their growing up years and they're, so they're, they're lovely. they're very healthy shows and they are unbelievably happy. So when did you decide that you wanted to be a children's entertainer? Um, I feel, well, I, I guess it was um, full-time back at the end of 90, uh, 1982. 
I was um, teaching then in Adelaide, and I happened to have two national shows on, one on television, one on radio. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today, Peter. I'll see you on your next tour. Great pleasure, Laurent. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. If you'd like to find out more about him, head to petercoom.com.au. Got a film? Got a budget? Flickrfest entries are open now. And the FDI Heroes Journey workshop is on for actors, writers and anyone else that's on set. It's free and no experience is required, just a good solid interest. And this week I caught up with Ruby Slippers from the Sugar Blue Burlesque Academy. Hi guys, we're here today with Ruby Slippers from the Sugar Blue Burlesque Academy. Welcome Ruby. Hi, how's it going? Good, thanks for, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. And you look gorgeous. Oh look, I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about the costume designing? Absolutely. Um, I design and create costumes for burlesque performers in Western Australia and on the other side of the country as well. I've got a couple of commissions going at the moment, so I like to design and create unique pieces for both myself and other performers on the stage uh, and a lot of pieces for Sugar Blue Burlesque members. How long have you been doing burlesque dancing? Um, I've been with Sugar Blue Burlesque since 2011, mm -hmm. uh, but the troupe itself has been around for nearly 10 years wow. now. Yeah, they were really at the forefront of the burlesque revival scene in Perth. And with the um, Academy itself, can anybody join the academy or how do they get involved in the troops? Join on up! You've got to be over 18, <laughs> okay. that's definitely yes. a prerequisite. Yeah. Um, and we do courses from uh, anywhere from beginner level one, never put on a pair of high heels before, yeah. through to uh, solo conditioning and training for people who want to really break out and become their own performer. Fantastic. Have we got any courses coming up? Every single week we run a drop-in class at our Mayland studio. The 6.30 every Monday you can pay $14 and give it a go. So you guys have got a performance coming up at the Madge, I believe. We do, Le Carousel Rouge, collaborating with Flip Tees, who are a circus oh. performance group over here in Perth as well. So it's a really high-end show. Yeah. It's really lovely. Sounds amazing. And guys, yeah, if you haven't been to the Madge, I think this burlesque show. Go to it. And be sure, guys, to check out downstairs at the Madge and the burlesque show Le... What is it? Le Carousel Rouge. I'll teach you there French you sometime. You <laughs> I, did, I did try some French out on last week's episode, but um, I didn't sound too bad. But um, yeah, be sure to check it out. I think it's August the 14th, 15th, 16th. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, definitely. But any, anyway, guys, we'll have the links anyway for you to check it out. So links? So they like check there? Check out the links. There? Are they more? They're about there. Do they even put them there? No, I think we're going to have it here. Could Otherwise, they put something there? It might be to the side or to the there. side. We'll leave that to Jeff. <laughs> this way, this way. <laughs> and now we're voguing. We are voguing. Well, we have to because we're, we're glamming it up. We're burlesque. It's all about glamming. <laughs> Well, it's been great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me, Better go, we'll keep talking. All yeah, day. all right. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Where's the next generation of Australia's top filmmaking talent? With the support of Hyundai, three talented filmmakers will receive a cash prize, industry recognition and tickets to the fifth annual Actor Awards luncheon. Our director will be voting. Finally, in local news, Rumour has it, a new independent film festival will be opening soon with cash prizes. We'll have more details on that soon. And it's good night from me. Just me. Get well soon, girls. Directors Guild and Screen Australia have just announced a director's attachment for Mel Gibson's upcoming feature film Hackers Ridge. It's being shot here, is that right? Hackers Ridge? Hacksaw! <laughs> Hackers? Sorry! <laughs> Hacksaw! One for the Christmas tape, kids! <laughs> Hacksaw Ridge, okay, sorry!